Headline, a pathway to citizenship for nearly two million young illegal immigrants. That is more than double the number of dreamers who were enrolled in the DACA program that President Trump terminated last fall. $25 billion trust fund for the border wall system. It also ends the visa lottery program and eliminates the extended family chain migration by limiting family sponsorships to only spouses and minor children. Here now, Mark Thiessen, American Enterprise Institute scholar and Fox News contributor, and Emily Tish Sussman, campaign director for the Center for American Progress Action Fund and a Democratic strategist. So, um, Emily, it looks like there's quite a bit in here for both sides. I wouldn't exactly categorize it that way. Look, President Trump caused this chaos by needlessly ending the DACA program, then tried to have it always by saying he has massive compassion for these young can, people. Can you just go back but and then answer the, White the House question, Emily, because I'm asking you to respond oh, to the four things that are here. You've got double the number of dreamers, uh, you, you know, being a allowed to stay in the country. I would think you would be jumping up and down about that. And that piece is actually great. It's something that people from both sides of the aisle really want so to see happen. So what piece don't you like? But there's specifically. The, I like. I don't like basically every other piece of it. First of all, if he's going to put 25 million dollars in for border security, what happened to Mexico paying for billion, it? Billion. A little bit billion. unclear on that. So you don't billion, want. That's exactly right. But Look, don't, I, I so think you don't that want is a secure border because most Democrats have been voting in so, favor of a secure border. They want to have a secure uh, southern border. They've you know been voting along those lines for years and years. So you. Don't, but you don't want that. Look, Democrats are saying, well, no, no, the Democrats are saying that's a piece that can be on the table. Even from Republicans, they're saying that's more than twice what's actually necessary. But more than that, this is a total wish list of going after family reunification programs. It would end up limiting, limiting our legal immigration programs so much that it would take us back to a time where we're really picking and choosing right. based on race and national let's origin. Let, let Mark and it's really, it's, it's, a, so, it's an so Mark, I would say list. that the White you House know, may have thought they were it, proffering an idea that might find some. Uh, somewhere to get together. Um, if Emily represents the Democratic well, Party, I would say well, no. Well, if Emily represents the Democratic Party, what it means is the Democrats don't want a deal, okay? Because the reality is what Donald Trump did today, I mean, just compare the negotiating positions that the two sides have put out this week. Donald Trump just offered a path to citizenship for 1.8 million illegal immigrants in this country. Not, that, that's double the DACA population. That's a, that is, that's, includes not just the people who applied for DACA, but anyone who is eligible for DACA. And not just legalization, which is what people were discussing before, a path to citizenship. That is something that, it, that makes his base very, very uncomfortable. But he's willing to go out there and put a, go out on a limb and do that. That is leadership. Now, you can tell that supported by to what Chuck Schumer, no, no, so you compare that to what Chuck Schumer did this week. Chuck Schumer held a press conference where he announced money for the wall is off the table. There's not going to be a deal without money for the wall. So you have one side that is trying to reach a deal, trying to be reasonable, and the other side that is in complete yeah. tailspin because I, their base is in an uproar because uh, they got nothing for their, yeah. for their, for their I, stupid I government shutdown. Based on what we <laughs> saw over the past several days, Emily, I, I think that Mark may be right because it looks like, you know, the, the president is, is leaning very hard in the direction that is going to tick off 38% of the people who support him in his base. So he's really putting himself out there. If Democrats don't want to meet him on this, it's going to look like they are not interested in solving the dreamer problem. Exactly. Look, 72% of Republicans supporting a pathway to citizenship for dreamers, I would hardly say, is, is pissing off a large percentage of his base. And putting together what's always been on the table is dreamers for wall, right? Like, that's always been out there. Right. And in fact, that's a concept that's supported by conservative Republican senators. Senators Mike Lee, Senators Thune, they're saying that is a realistic deal. I don't know why the White House had to throw that out and come back with something that is totally unrealistic and then try to frame it as being something that people would come so to the table on major what I'm, what I'm reading in between the lines here is that your major problem is the amount of money for border security is that what you would like to see changed I think that's one piece of it, but I actually think it's the overhaul of the immigration system as a whole that is the bigger problem. L limiting immigration so much that families cannot be brought back together, that's a huge problem. We're talking about, I mean, these are core Americans. Spouses these are and children, children. Spouses, so and children are in. Spouses and that's children are Spouses and children are involved incorrect. in this. Go ahead, Mark. 
No, that, I and mean, that's factually incorrect. It's limiting, that, that it's talks, limiting, it's limiting chain, chain migration to the nuclear family. Look, the, most of these reforms that Emily's so upset about actually have bipartisan support. That they're, 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 we need some sort of, we need a system that is, uh, that is uh, driven by, uh, by our needs of our country and not just chain migration. But the reality is, look, if they don't think, if they think $25 billion, billion is too much just for 1.8 million people, one of the great negotiating positions is enlarge the problem. Say, okay, we're willing to give you $25 million, but let's talk about comprehensive immigration reform. Now, all of a sudden, you're talking, and I bet you Donald Trump would go for that. But the Democrats are, they, the way Emily's presenting this, the way Chuck yeah. Schumer is behaving, it really sounds like they don't want right. a deal. Quick they want the issue. And Donald Trump is willing to solve the issue. Emily, last word. Yeah, I, I'm not really sure we're coming up with this idea that, that Democrats are not coming to the table. There, if this is such a moral issue that has bipartisan support, it's unclear to me why the terms of the deal keep changing. Or if you're, per, if you're guessing what Donald Trump would be for, that's been incredibly unclear this entire time. If there is a moral case, then take care of the dreamers. Don't try to put, make, put together an entire wish list that comes from every piece of the administration. All right, got to go. Thank you guys very much. Good to see you all Thanks. tonight. So a chilling...